guys, welcome back to my channel. So today what I'm doing is a product review on a hair care line called Pura Dior. So this video is not sponsored. They actually emailed me and asked if I would try their products and consider doing a review for them based on if I liked them or not. And I emailed them back just to make sure I could provide my full opinion, my honest opinion, and they said that I have freedom to do whatever I want with this video, so I'm going to review these products for you and let you know what I thought of them. So since I last filmed actually, I just got a sequin backdrop right here, right here, feels nice. And I am in love with it so far because I don't have my own beauty corner or anything like that, but I want to make my videos like a little bit better for you guys. And you know, this is actually a really big hobby of mine, so I was willing to invest money in that as well as a ring light. So I got the newer ring light, which is only about a hundred dollars. So it's the cheaper um, version of the Stellar or Diva ring light, and so far, so good. I don't have a diffuser on it though, so hopefully. This video is not too harsh in lighting. This video kind of is like a run through of my new lighting and background, so I'm excited for that. So I just wanted to tell you guys that because I was really happy about it and thought you guys would be too maybe. <laughs> so anyways, let's get on with this review. So this is the Pura Dior shampoo. And I actually looked up some information just about the company in general because I thought that would help some of you guys if you're interested in this or if you're looking for something that is cruelty free, which it is, and I was so happy about that because I'm definitely one of those people that look for makeup lines, hair care lines, any kind of line that is cruelty free, and I'll choose that any day over any other line that tests on animals. So it is cruelty free, and I looked up information and their products are actually unisex, so everything on their website pretty much can be used for male or female. It says it works for all different hair types, thin, thick, curly, straight, and also color safe hair as well. So actually what I mean is it's safe for color treated hair. So that's a big plus as well. Actually, most of their ingredients, probably I think all of them are actually organic elements. Um, the bottle says there are no harmful sulfates, no SLS, no paraffin, and it is gluten-free as well. So some of the ingredients, just so you guys have an idea of what goes into these products, are 12 DHT blockers. Um, I'm going to be honest, I probably don't know what half these things do, so I'm just, I'm just going to throw that out there. <laughs> but niacin, biotin, argan oil, That's and something cool about this, argan oil, which is really good for your hair. It's really nice oil. I believe it comes from Africa. I don't know why I'm giving you guys like a history lesson. Anyways, so I was sent the hair loss prevention shampoo. So that would be this guy right here. And as well as the hair loss healing conditioner and the argan oil right here. So, um, first off, let's talk about the bottles. So the bottles are pumps, which I really like about them. Um, I believe they are 16 fluid ounces, so they're relatively medium-sized bottles. They're not huge or anything, but they're not like super small. Um, and the argan oil actually has like a little dropper. So I can usually get away with like one because I do have thin hair and I don't want to be putting too much oil in it. Even though argan oil is lightweight, I only really put it on the ends of my hair to keep it dry and manageable. Or if I want my hair to be like extra shiny or something. <laughs> so now I'm gonna talk a little bit about my hair just so you guys can get an idea or a comparison or if you have a similar hair type. I have very, very thin, very fine hair. I never really have like a big deal with or anything with hair loss necessarily. My hair does shed a lot. But besides that, um, I don't really have any big deal with like hair loss, so just a little tidbit there. Um, and I also typically wash my hair every other day and try to give as much body to my hair as possible since usually it's so like thin or limp. So that's what I really like about these shampoos so far is I have noticed that my hair looks a lot, a lot thicker. So I have been using this hair care for, I would say about a 
months now and I really like it a lot. Um, first off, the shampoo smells kind of citrusy like and mixed with like a little bit of maybe like a nut kind of smell. It's definitely different, um, but I still like it. But oh my god, oh my god. The conditioner smells like freaking heaven. Like I could just sniff this freaking all day like I'm obsessed with it. I love the smell of the conditioner. So I just thought I'd let you guys know how good that actually smells. So let's get into a little bit about the shampoo. So typically what for my hair, keep in mind I have thinner hair, it takes about three to maybe four pumps to really work it into the scalp. It doesn't have any sulfates, so that means that this shampoo is not going to lather, which is definitely something if you've been using like drugstore type hair products, shampoos, is something that you have to get used to. Because I'm like waiting for it to like lather, you know, and I gotta remind myself, like it's not gonna do that, do. So I get it in there and just work it in there and I leave it for probably about two minutes or so and then wash it all out. I really just make sure I get towards the scalp area more sore, more, more sore, <laughs> more so than the ends because I feel like the treatment's gonna work best in my scalp and I also have pretty oily hair so I wanna get all the oils and stuff out of my hair or not at least not showing when I wash my hair. So now the conditioner. So the conditioner, I typically use three to four pumps as well. Um, it is definitely a very, very lightweight conditioner. So if you're looking for something that's really going to heal your hair, this is definitely gonna do that, but you have to use a lot of it to get the ends and stuff to kind of be saturated with it. And I would suggest leaving it in for three to four minutes as well. But whenever I rinse it out, I can definitely feel that like very silky feeling and I really like it a lot so far but keep in mind that it is very very lightweight so as I mentioned before I also got sent the argan oil so for this I only use like one drop and that is almost even too much for me so I use it on the ends of my hair usually just to give it a little bit more sheen and to kind of pick up the dryness and get rid of that as well um, I've read information that you can use it on your skin, which I have not ventured into that area yet because I'm not brave enough for that, let's be honest. So, but anyways, I already have pretty oily hair though, so I don't really go around putting it like up at the top of my hair to get shine or anything. Um, so other than that, yeah, I really do like the argan oil. I've also heard that don't, um, if you're looking to get true, real argan oil, it should be in a dark bottle like this. That's how you know that it is actually a quality argan oil compared to if you were to go, let's say like Sephora or drugstore and get one in like a clear bottle, that's usually going to be some kind of chemical mixture that isn't actually argan oil. So to wrap this video up, I believe I've covered most of the bases, but I just wanted to give my overall opinion, pros and cons part. So. I definitely feel like my hair has been a looking a lot thicker and a lot healthier since I've been using this product line. Um, I don't think I've had as much shedding by any means. That almost sounded like a bad word. I said shedding, so don't think I've had that as much. Um, like I said, I don't suffer from hair loss, but I do shed typically quite a lot, and I think that it's been significantly less because I wear a lot of black shirts and stuff and I haven't noticed as many of my little blondy, little blondy hairs. So I definitely think that my hair looks a lot healthier and I think it's actually gotten longer as well since I've been using this because I cut my hair about two, three months ago about right here for a long bob look and it's already grown substantially, substantially so that's a plus. And I would say my hair looks pretty shiny and overall just pretty nice, I guess. So, I mean, to me. So those are some of the pros of this product line. So let me go over just a few cons that I found with it. So the only cons I could really say about this product is I found that I did have to wash my hair a little bit more often than every other day at times because I felt that the roots of my hair did get a little bit more oily a little faster than usual, which really wasn't a big deal to me. Um, you know, obviously you can use dry shampoo to kind of combat that if you really want to, but I feel like that wasn't a big deal to me. And also as well, like the ends, like this part of my hair, 
um, appeared a little bit drier when it would dry naturally after I used this shampoo. Um, I think it was a shampoo basically that kind of made this part a little bit drier, but the conditioner um, in kind of like cooperation with the uh, argan oil really helped a lot kind of to combat that dryness and actually made it look pretty good at the end so I mean to me that wasn't really a big deal either but just keep in mind that if you already have kind of dry hair it might look a little bit more dry in this case lastly my overall recommendation would be that I definitely definitely love these products like thank you so much Pure Dior for sending these to me because I think they've helped a lot with my thin and fine hair to make it look thicker and healthier as well so I would definitely recommend this to anybody though if you have thicker hair it's gonna look great but definitely me being somebody that is experienced with dealing with thin and fine hair my entire life I definitely would recommend this for girls that have thin or fine hair so I would definitely also say to use more of the conditioner on the ends if you're going to buy this line just to kind of combat that dryness if you're worried about that but overall all the benefits outweigh any of the cons such as like a little bit more oil in your hair or the dryness at the ends. To me really the line is a very quality brand and it definitely the benefits outweigh any of the cons. Okay guys so that was my full review on the Pura Dior conditioner, shampoo and argan oil. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm going to actually be making a video soon just for tips about having fine or thin hair and how to combat that or make it look fuller. So keep a lookout for that. That'll be up in a couple weeks to a week, something like that. So if you're interested in that, definitely keep a lookout. And other than that, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I'd appreciate it so much. So thank you again for watching.